So my full name is Lamont Tyler Wace. Um, I currently live in Washington State, Spokane on the east side. So this all started not too long ago. It was, um, I would say two, about two months ago, two and a half months ago, I was really busy. We both work regular jobs, my wife and I, and then on the weekends we had to clean up this rental house. And so we were working the weekends and it was a lot of work. We spent five weeks cleaning that up and we would stay up there in our travel trailer. And that's when I noticed that uh, I was urinating way too much at night. Just, it was odd getting up and having to go to the bathroom all the time. Not, that wasn't so much concerning as, it, as it, it did start to hurt a little bit. So I thought, well, I got a urinary tract infection. And so I, I uh, went to the doctor and they said, uh, well, we think you got a kidney stone and we need to do a CT scan. And uh, so right before that CT scan, they did some blood work and a, a ultrasound test. Um, and I hadn't gotten any results from that, but from the time I went to the doctor initial visit to the cats, to the cat scan was just, uh, that was five days. As I was heading home from that scan, they said, we need you to go to the ER right now. So I went to the ER closest to my home they got me in right away and put me on a gurney. And then the ER doctor came up and gave me a, a diagnosis from the CAT scan. And uh, that diagnosis was that you have uh, stage four colon cancer and that it is metastasized to your liver. Yeah, so uh, my wife was very upset and, uh, and I was shocked. I, I knew I had something wrong with me. Um, I figured there's a possible that it, I knew it was colon and possibly cancer, but not stage four. I didn't think that was the case. They asked me if I had seen the scan. I said no, but they looked pretty concerned about what they were looking at. Uh, uh, the main concern was that I had a something called a fistula, where the colon cancer had come out of the colon and connected to the bladder. Um, from there, we had to make a quick decision whether I was to get a uh, colonoscopy or not. And at first I was hesitant about it. And I went home and talked to my kids about this. And uh, we decided that that was the best thing to do. So I had uh, scheduled the surgery for the following Monday and uh, I had that surgery. They put in a colostomy bag. At first, I wasn't sure how well it fixed the problem because of the surgery, I was in a lot of pain and, and it was difficult, but uh, we knew right away that we weren't going to do, I wasn't gonna do chemotherapy and that I was gonna pursue a different treatment. I knew where I was going. I knew I was coming to Tijuana, but uh, I didn't know exactly what facility I was gonna to go to. And in that, by that end of that week, well, um, within seven days, I had chosen to come to uh, Hope for Cancer. I had some previous understanding of, of um, how to heal disease uh, without using conventional medicine. And, um, and it was with, with uh, nutrition, well, with food and cleansing the, the, the bowel, the, the small intestine. And uh, so right away I started doing um, a smoothie and drinking a lot of green drinks and fasting. And um, so in that three weeks, I started that process. The choice to come here was, well, oh, it was, it was mainly through my daughter. My daughter was doing more research than me and she kind of, she decided that this was the better place for me, that it had all, all of the things I was looking for, the spiritual side of it, the nutritional side of it, and the psychological side of this disease. And I'm, uh, I've been here a week now, so I'm pretty happy with, uh, with everything I've, I've experienced in one week already. I've got a little, a taste of all of it. Yeah. The nutritional side is going to be easy for me. And, uh, I had to give up alcohol 
And I'd already wanted to do that. And as soon as I was diagnosed, it was done. I had no desire at all. I quit that. So now the real journey is this spiritual journey that I'm going to go through, uh, learning how to let go. Yeah. And finding out that it, uh, yeah, that previous experiences, prior experiences, uh, kind of mold that scenario a little bit, right? The, uh, I mean, I'm finding out that the, the trauma, trauma that I thought I dealt with. Uh, so for example, like uh, as a child, uh, after I moved to Washington, the parents got a divorce within two years. So we went from living in California, moving to Washington at age of 14. So I left all that. And then next thing you know, these two parents decide that it isn't going to work. And, um, the grieving that I went through, all of that, thinking that I had dealt with that back then and finding out that I really didn't. I, f I found out that, you know, th yeah, betrayal. Betrayal and not realizing that I hadn't dealt with that too much, uh, enough. Uh, it, later on, I, I, I did start a family and raise kids and then I went through that again. I went through another divorce, but it was my divorce and the, um, had a huge effect on my, on my health. Yeah. So, and then spirituality, uh, um, I think that's a big key that helps. It helps you deal with that, the spiritual side of it. Um, knowing that you're a good person and you're worthy, uh, that you just need to uh, work on it. And that work might not, you might not know when that work is finished. If, if uh, anger keep, it comes up again, that means that you did it. There's more to it. Yeah. Typical day would be like, uh, usually there's an IV to start, start out. And then the therapies like the oxygen chamber and uh, the phototherapies, um, the different, the laser pad and the light therapies and the sauna. And the, there's one where they constantly rubbing the area. So it's the, the cancer on the liver is down in here. And then there's some masses down here in my lower abdomen. Um, and that's where they're focusing all their attention on. So these therapies last. I do get a lunch and a dinner in there. So in an eight hour day, there's a good five solid hours of, of therapy. Yeah. I mean, I was excited to come here. I really was. And, uh, I have spent some time down here in Mexico. I have, uh, I usually in Tijuana, it was as a child or as a, as in a young adult. So, um, I really didn't think that, I had some hesitancies about coming here, but I had heard that it, it, had, uh, it had grown here and it was a lot different than the Tijuana that I knew of in, you know, back in the eighties. Uh, but I spent a lot of time in Cabo San Lucas and I've been to uh, Cancun. So I, it's a great place to, to visit. So I told my wife, my wife was more hesitant. I said, oh no, it's gonna be beautiful. I heard it's all modern and everything. And when we did pull up, I, I was a little bit like, oh, it's, it's actually in an area that um, is not brand new, but the inside of this facility is, is really nice. And uh, um, we've, we've gotten, she's gotten over it. We've done walks up and down the boardwalk on the beach. It's beautiful. The people are great here. And uh, I was a little anxious because I came here on a, started on a Friday. Well, here we are, today's Thursday. So I've been here one week and uh, it started yesterday. Yesterday, I, I felt the, uh, the energy start to come back. So much so that at eight o'clock, I went out and uh, went up and down the stairs to the beach just to see where I was at cardio wise and see what my muscles and my legs would feel like. The conventional medicine or allopathic medicine route is um, to to go after the the uh, the disease, and what this is 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 treating the whole body. It's it's helping the body deal with that disease, whether we know it or not. It it, it it's been there a while, 
And what happened is, is our body got weak and allowed it to take over. Building your body back up with their help, a lot of help, a lot of therapies, and, and uh, building your immune system up so that you can fight this disease because it, it can be overcome. Yeah, with time, it just takes time.